staying with us. We begin today's program with a room of fresh communal conflict between neighbors of Iliife and Mudakeke. As the rumor has been dismissed as untrue. The state government has allayed the fears of residents over their alleged conflicts. Some government officials were at the two communities to calm the people and douse the tension. Let's share this video with you. Now, also some youths in the communities are singing peaceful tunes, dismissing any cause for alarm between the two neighbors. Let's hear some of them. Taking your time. The time is 1:50 a.m. Midnight. We are here at Tokesho. Kosi kado njo guni lefe. Oni tik pashe. Ogusu ati pashe. Kpeko ni sokuman lefe. Ni bista walo walo wai. Olo ka wa ambi bai. Awisha wa ambi bai. Yaska fe wa ambi bai. Waska wa ambi bai. Allah God, do one be by Timurai. Mighty, mighty, mighty. Mighty. Come here, oh, 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 I did your baba on Ulisa. Oh, did you go? Baba, did you go? You are not going to be locked. At your locker, at your waska, at your wish, at your at your follow, at your mighty, at your locker, Kiri. I did not care as of anybody. We are one year old soon. But actually, I can say things are getting better because it wasn't funny. Well, during the first time of um, um, President Olusha Gwambasanjo, when the last time this uh, crisis, you know, um, happened, and when they took me to that, and they said, "This is Ife, this is Murakeke," I was just laughing because <laughs> they were just too, too so close, <laughs> close knitted together. Mm -hmm. They, you can't even see what is different. That this is different. so much in Tamari. I'm telling you. So it, it was so funny to me. I couldn't understand the killings and everything. Several months of war and everything. But we thank yes. God that this is just um, something, a false alarm. Oh, the thing is, um, we have to thank the or Nerisha himself, the governor, and his team for being proactive. Mm -hmm. Oshun is one of the most peaceful states in the southwest yes. and Nigeria as a whole. And one way in which they've been able to keep the state safe is this prompt response to 
imagine the problems. So uh, what actually happened was that a woman and uh, her child uh, were killed in a farm because the woman hailed from originally from Modakeke, it was thought that maybe if, if a people killed her. Mm. But anyone could be murdered. There could be a conflict between two persons that could lead to someone's murder. So they've had to now respond promptly to say, look, this has nothing to do with conflict between <laughs> if a Modakeke, which President Obasanjo invested his time in looking for a solution. Mm. I remember Obasanjo talking about one day when they had a meeting, mm. they started the meeting at, at 9, <laughs> 9, 9, 9 p.m. <laughs> and it ended around 6.30. 6 what will you be talking? They are talking so, peace, talking peace. As they from <laughs> I've seen <laughs> politicians have meetings on, th throughout the day. So the issue was looking for peace between uh, the yeah. two communities, and thankfully the traditional rulers were all there. They stayed awake and they found a solution to it. So it's a good thing that they responded promptly this time mm. to save us from an embarrassment. And uh, let me see. We, uh, we thank God that this has not snowballed to the, the crisis we had in our hand in the, was it 2001 or 2000? It, it, early in the uh, um. life of that administration. What's one thing that you can see clearly at work here is uh, communication, mm. Mm. which if we employ in other areas of our uh, life in this country could bring uh, good results in times of crisis or conflict. Dialogue. Yeah, because you can see that uh, with the effective uh, communication strategy employed by the state government and the traditional rulers. Mm. The, both communities have been made to understand what is going on. You see, I think there is a lot of lessons for us to learn from this particular situation because wh whoever follows if a Mudakeke crisis, we know that it's, it used to be a very, very serious, bloody, Conflicts, bloody. That's, that's very bloody, yeah. and uh, I'm sure that people will have been afraid, you know, thinking of what could happen when that rumor started. But like Baba Jide said, it's a proactive step by the state government and the traditional rulers, mm. and most importantly, the involvement of all the Mm. Uh, interest groups mm. in both communities and the youth and the youth yes yeah, very mm. important you very, can very important you can hear interest. them calling the names of everybody all the, all the, all the, the different <laughs> stakeholders <laughs> and the you know that is, mm. yes that is the beauty of uh, communication and the fact that they are able to go down mm. to the grassroots and get everybody to understand that there is no war Nobody is singing any war song. Mm -hmm. And we just thank God that this yeah. happened because we don't even want to see any kind of bloody thing again in Nigeria. We are already... We are already we, in too much crisis. We are, oh, oh, yes, no, no, we don't no, want any of them. Yeah. But what is so alarming? Sometimes maybe, um, sometimes boundary land disputes and mm. something like this. If you remember, there's also a place in Anambra State where mm. the governor is from. Muleri. Muleri and Aguleri. Yes. As at that time... It's still there. Said, there's, this conflict is still there. And we have some areas in the Boeing State that, you know, people just wake up in the morning over boundary and land disputes. Yeah, it's and mm -hmm. there is, there is, there is the, the conflict between uh, two communities, one in the Boeing, the other one in Cross River. We have conflicts between uh, if uh, I mean between of uh, really long standing uh, conflict over boundary, you know, so uh, all these things happen, so but but traditional rulers have to be engaged, and that's why I'm um, in support of um, a more extensive role for traditional rulers, probably mm -hmm. even backed by the constitution to enable them to help us nip in the board. Uh, crisis so in our country the because the ONE has done a good job and I will praise him uh, for this and you can see that even the roughnecks um, 
themselves admitted that the only has told them that no, there should not be any uh, fight. Even you know? no country, mm. among traditional rulers, among um, the southwest traditional rulers, mm. even in Nigeria, only has been playing a prominent. Uh, yes, a man of peace. You know, it's a man of peace. His domain now, uh, and he, he has said it that it will not happen in his domain, that he will not allow that to happen at this time. Mm. For someone who leaves his own community to go and seek peace elsewhere, mm. the last thing that he want to see happen is for war to be brought to his door. Mm. So, Obara, any time, a is not prepared to let that happen. Right? And I'm sure in the next few days, he will still be um, on the road uh, seeking peace between these two communities and um, ensuring that that murder does not now lead to many more murders. Yeah. I'm sure my producer is trying to mm. um, connect um, the Oba of uh, well, only of if you are I think he called. Will find him. Was on earlier. And I have on the line Oba Adiye Yenito Ogusi, the only of Ife. Thank you for joining us, Kabisi. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Well done, Uncle Yes, sir. <laughs> Ordinarily, we would have. <laughs> we can't proceed for them. Respectfully, sir. <laughs> we, we, we welcome you to Journalist Hangouts. Hangout. Mm -hmm. And we are, aware of, we are aware of the steps that uh, uh, you are taking to prevent a violent combustion in your domain. Tell us sir, a bit more about uh, what you have done in the last 24 hours. Well, to the glory of God, we thank God Almighty for, for bringing that. It would have been a very ugly incident. But we only know the beginning of war, nobody knows the end of war mm. and mm. dispute. Mm. And uh, when you're not careful and tactical enough, whenever such a thing wants to occur, fear has about 60 to 70 percent. People were uh, run out of scale in fear and anguish. If you don't take what you said, the leader, it can lead to something else. But the way of model we did yesterday night, we were able to calm everybody down. Mm. Yeah, something triggered this. So my assailants and uh, I would just say hand rob robbers actually plan to use the thing that has been bringing within the two communities to capitalize on it. We started shooting sporadically. And everybody started running Elder Skelter from the two communities, hmm. from Ife community and Mozakeke community. The tension became so intense. And uh, people at the borderline couldn't sleep in their various abroad. So what we did was just be proactive Come by sending. No, no very bold people to the border to check I realized that there was nothing like that and that could have actually led led to that animosity and swelling but we thank God that we were able to be so the reality that it's very. Um, okay, sure. The audio quality is. A fear that uh, was created within the community. Yes, that long issues of many years, the history of Modakeke and Ife. Uh -huh. But war is not a good thing. It's very anti aggressive, it's very counterproductive. Hmm. As a, a model, I preach priests all over the world. Charity must begin at home. Yes. So for me, we don't want to fight war. 
war is even in the land and our ancestral home is not even a good thing. We know what is happening in the country. Generally, people who part of the nation will just adjust it and take it to another level. So we, will, we are very thankful to God. I'm very proactive is came on board uh, because we all came out during the night and we were able to cut quenches to the glory of God. Now, what are you doing to um, bring a kind of uh, defrosting relationship that has been between Ife and Budakeke over time for several years now to make sure that this, uh, the two communities, there is a kind of um, um, cordial relationship in between them, moving forward now. Well, the community we can bring on board to bring us. Let the youth very engaged. Let the youth have things to do. It's a very important thing that is critical for our nation as a whole. Are you there? Comments, youth. It's very important to need to use the truth and let them know that they are sacred in every community. When you get the youth engaged in different activities, encourage small and medium scale enterprises, have a very strong and formidable information database. I will let them know that the greatest strength is what binds us together than what denies us. Engage them, even in social cultural activities. Engage them in farming. Meat, for example. Very important for leaders to always be very proactive and lead by example. If you have proactive leaders in every community, we will not be having disputes. We will not be having war in terms of ethnic clashes and destruction of property in life. We must be proactive. So it's a lesson. Yesterday, that thank God we were very proactive because thousands of people. They have actually trooped out, but to the glory of God, by being proactive, we were able to cut it. So, along the, the long issue between Ife and Mother Kike, we're all the same. We all came out of the tone of what you do have. So, it is going to be very unpleasant for us to continue to follow any more of It's very important to engage it. Let them be busy. And that's what we're doing. Kavisi, Obadi, Enito, Ogusi. I want to thank you for your time. Thank you very much. So in engaging the youth in that area. Yes, we said it all. We said it all. We, and he's been trying to keep them busy in his yeah. domain, yeah. no doubt about it. Yeah. Um, um, all kinds of empowerment schemes um, being introduced by him. Uh, I hope that there will be lasting peace in that area. Nobody wants to have war between the and Modakeke anymore. So, uh, kudos to the KBC for the role that he has played, and may God bless him.